Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs of 27th of June. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. This is the name of Telegram channel, GK Today YouTube. Now we have started a new channel, Civils Academy, so you can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now let's start. Kushinagar Airport which has been declared as international airport is in which state of India. So it is in Uttar Pradesh. The chief minister of Uttar Pradesh is Yogi Adityanath. Now this Kushinagar is a Buddhist cultural site and therefore this will increase the tourism in this area. Now Uttar Pradesh was also in news as recently it started Atam Nirbhar Uttar Pradesh Rozgar Abhiyan. So this is an initiative by the state government to provide employment opportunities to the migrant workers. Uttar Pradesh was also in use because of Pravasi Rahat Mitra app. So this was started for the migrant workers. Apart from that, Uttar Pradesh was also in use because of cow ordinance. And recently, the state government passed ordinance to prevent the cow slaughtering. As per the FAO, that is Food and Agriculture Organization, which is the first country to control the desert locust through drones. So, India is first such country to control the desert locust through drones. And the Agriculture Ministry is working on a ULV. What is ULV? It is Ultra Low Volume Sprayer. And recently, it got approval from Ministry of Civil Aviation for these drones. And after approval, the trials were conducted in Jaipur in Rajasthan and in Shivpuri in Madhya Pradesh. What is FAO? It is Food and Agriculture Organization. Headquarter is in Rome in Italy. And recently FAO was in news as it released Global Forest Resources Assessment. Two bridges named Devika and Puneja were inaugurated recently in which Indian state or Union territory? So these two bridges are in Jammu and Kashmir and these two bridges were inaugurated by Dr. Jitendra Singh and BRO played a key role in this. What is BRO? It is Borders Road Organization. It is under Ministry of Defense. Now BRO was started in 1960. Presently, Lieutenant General Harpal Singh is the DG of BRO. DG stands for Director General. On which day the Passport Seva Divas is celebrated in our country? So it is celebrated on the 24th of June. On 24th of June in 1967, the Passport Act was passed. Present Minister of External Affairs is S. Jay Shankar. So 24th of June is Passport Seva Divas in our country. While 26th of June was observed as International Day in support of victims of torture. 26th of June was also observed as International Day against drug abuse and illicit trafficking. And the theme of this year's day was better knowledge for better care. Now in the context of drugs, there is a United Nations organization and it is UNODC that is United Nation Office on Drugs and Crime. The headquarters of UNODC is in Vienna. Vienna is in Austria. In fact, the headquarters of OPEC is also in Vienna in Austria and the headquarters of IAEA is also in Vienna in Austria. IAEA stands for International Atomic Energy Agency. OPEC stands for Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. And this UN Office on Drugs and Crime published a report on drugs and it is World Drug Report. Which Indian state has signed an agreement with Reliance Zio TV to telecast educational material to school children? So this question was already covered in our news section and this is Haryana. Which category of institutions have been brought under the supervision of RBI as per the recent ordinance. So recently, urban and multi-state cooperative banks have been brought under the supervision of RBI. So now, 1540 urban and multi-state cooperative banks are under RBI. RBI is Reserve Bank of India. Recently, RBI was in use because of PIDF. It is Payment Infrastructure Development Fund. It is a 500 crore rupees fund and out of which 250 will be provided by RBI itself. Now, apart from this fund, one more fund was in use and it is Agriculture Infrastructure Development Fund. And for this fund recently, the government approved 15,000 crores rupees. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has approved additional investment of 121.27 million US dollars for the 
Swe oil and gas project in which country? So this oil and gas project is in Myanmar. This question was already covered in our news section. So OVL is the investor in this project. What is OVL? It is ONGC with this limited. What is ONGC? It is Oil and Natural Gas Corporation. Now recently Myanmar was also in news because of UNHCR as UNHCR adopted a resolution and informed Myanmar that it should create conditions and conducive environment for the safe return of Rohingya Muslims. UNHCR was also in news as recently World Refugee Day was observed on 20th of June. UNHCR stands for United Nations Human Rights Council. What is the corpus of Animal Husbandry Infrastructure Development Fund? So it is a 15,000 crore rupees fund and recently CCEA approved this fund. What is CCEA? It is Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs and this committee is headed by Prime Minister. So this fund would incentivize the investment in the infrastructure for dairy and meat processing. Which Indian enterprise has been given the contract to develop a 500 megawatt solar park in Republic of Mali? So this is NTPC that is National Thermal Power Corporation. Mali is a country in West Africa and it is going to collaborate with NTPC for this 500 megawatt solar power project. This NTPC is a PSU under Ministry of Power and in 2019 NTPC was authorized as a project management consultant for ISA. What is ISA? It is International Solar Alliance. The headquarters of ISA is in Gurugram in Haryana. Previously NTPC partnered with Republic of Togo for a solar park which international organization released World Economic Outlook. So this was released by IMF that is International Monetary Fund. So IMF and World Bank are popularly known as Bretton Woods institutions. So as per this recent World Economic Outlook by IMF, the economy is expected to contract by 4.5% this year and Indian economy is going to bounce back in next fiscal with a growth rate of 6%. Where is the world's first yoga university outside India? So it is going to be in USA and the name of this university is YU that is Vivekananda Yoga University and the first chairman of this university is Dr. H. R. Nagendra. Now answer in comment box where is first yoga university in India? Now coming back to USA, USA was also in news as recently the Senate of USA passed a bill to impose sanctions on China for Hong Kong security law. Now coming back to yoga, yoga was celebrated on 21st of June. 21st of June was also celebrated as Motorcycle Day. It was also celebrated as Music Day. Which intergovernmental organization placed Pakistan in the grey list until its next meeting? So it is FATF. Actually Pakistan was already in this list and after meeting it was decided that Pakistan should stay in this meeting and after meeting it was decided that Pakistan should stay in this grey list until next meeting. What is FATF? It is Financial Action Task Force. It is an initiative of G7 countries. The headquarters of FATF is in the Secretariat of OECD. OECD stands for Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development and it is in Paris in France. Recently OECD was in news as USA appointed Manisha Singh as US envoy to OECD. She is an Indo-American. Apart from her, recently one more Indo-American was in news and she is Geeta Pasi. Answer in comment box why she was in news. Now coming back to FATF. So recently FATF released money laundering and illegal wildlife trade report. And this is first such report by FATF on illegal wildlife trade. So it is important from exam perspective. One more thing that presently this meeting of FATF held under the presidency of China. A product application and development center that is PADC set up by Indian Oil has been inaugurated in which Indian state? So this was inaugurated in Odisha. The chief minister of Odisha is Naveen Patnaik. This PADC has been set up at Paradeep. Researchers from Wadia Institute of Himalayan Geology have used grey walls to trace the paleoclimatic history of which river? So right answer is Indus river. This Wadia Institute of Himalayan Geology is under 
DST. What is DST? It is Department of Science and Technology. What is the name of nodal national entity set up under the Department of Space to regulate Indian space industry? So the name of this entity is in space and it is under Department of Space. In space stands for Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center. So this in space is going to be the nodal national agency to promote and regulate all space related activities of private sector. Please note that it is going to regulate the activities of private sector in space. Who is set to become the first female president of Marlebone Cricket Club? So she is Claire Connor and she is going to replace Kumar Sangakara. Kumar Sangakara is from Sri Lanka. Now apart from her, recently one more cricketer was in news and she is Rachel Priest. She is from New Zealand and recently she announced her retirement. Recently New Zealand was in news as it announced that it is now corona free country. Harit Haram program is initiative of which Indian state? So it is an initiative of Telangana government and the objective is to ensure the tree plantation. The chief minister of Telangana is K. Chandrasekhar Rao. Which state was ranked first in eradicating tuberculosis in the annual TB report of 2020? So this state is state of Gujarat. So in large category state, Gujarat was the top performer while in the category of small states, Nagaland and Tripura were the top performers. In case of union territories, Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu were on top position. This report was released by Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Harshwadhan. Next question is, what is the name of mobile application developed by Indian Red Cross Society to provide easy access to blood? So the name of this initiative is e-blood services. This was launched by Dr. Harshwadhan through a video conferencing. Dr. Harshwadhan is also the chairperson of this Indian Red Cross Society. In the credit guarantee scheme, CG SSD launched to help the distressed MSME sector, what does SD stands for? So SD stands for subordinate debt. Recently, MSME Minister Nitin Gadkari launched this credit guarantee scheme for subordinate debt, that is CG SSD. So under the scheme, a guarantee cover of Rs. 20,000 crores will be provided to the promoters who are willing to take loans from the banks to invest in the stressed MSME sector. Now recently MSME sector was in news as Champions Portal was started for this sector. Present MSME Minister is Nitin Gadkari, his constituency is Nagpur in Maharashtra. So these were the most important questions of today's quiz. Now we are going to cover important news. Feel free to skip it at your own risk. So first news is related to Women's World Cup. So it is Football World Cup and it is going to be in 2023. Recently it was in news because Australia and New Zealand are going to host this World Cup. Second news is related to a scheme and it is SPARC that is Scheme for Promotion of Academic and Research Collaboration. So it is a scheme of MHRD that is Ministry of Human Resource Development. Why this scheme was in use recently? Because IIT Madras partnered with Germany to develop new materials for green energy and that's why this scheme was in use because this partnership was done under this scheme. Next is 70 years of Korean War. So recently North Korea and South Korea separately celebrated this 70th anniversary of start of Korean War. It was between North Korea and South Korea. The president of North Korea is Kim Jong-un. President of South Korea is Moon Jae-in. Capital of North Korea is Pyongyang while the capital of South Korea is Seoul. Next is Pollinator Week. So from 22nd of June to 28th of June is going to be celebrated as Pollinator Week. Next is Bhitarkanika National Park. So this is in Odisha. Recently it was in news because Odisha government started a two-year conservation project for fishing cats. And this conservation project was started in this Bhitarkanika National Park. Next is Godhan Nyaya Yojana. So this is an initiative of Chhattisgarh government. And as per this initiative, Chhattisgarh government is going to procure the cow dung from farmers to make the animal husbandry a commercially profitable initiative. Chhattisgarh was also in news because of Rajiv Gandhi Kisan Nyay Yojana. Next is related to IIT Bombay. So recently IIT Bombay decided to fully opt for the online classes from next semester. That means the entire semester is going to be online. 
and that's why IIT Bombay was in news. Next is Sandalwood and Pembo Plantation Initiative. So this was an initiative of KVIC, that is Khadi and Village Industries Commission. It is under MSME Ministry. Recently, KVIC also started a project for the revival of pottery in Pokhran of Rajasthan. Next is first tourist space walk. So recently, RSC Energy announced that it will take first tourist for a space walk in 2023. What is RSC Energy? This RSC Energy is a part of Roscosmos. What is Roscosmos? It is a space agency of Russia. So recently, this RSC Energy partnered with Space Adventures for this first tourist space walk in 2023. What is Space Adventures? It is a space tourism company of USA. Next is Yuva Pay. So this has been started by Yash Bank and it launched Digital Wallet Solution and the name of this initiative is Yuva Pay. Next is Annual Banking Statistics 2019. So this was launched by SNB. What is SNB? It is Switzerland's Central Bank and the name of this bank is Swiss National Bank. So as per this report, India is on 77th position in terms of money in Swiss National Bank. Last year, that means in 2018, India was on 74th position. This time, India is on 77th position and UK is on top position in terms of money parked by the citizens in Swiss National Bank. Next is Tillari Forest Area. So this forest area is in Sindhudurg district of Maharashtra. Recently, this was in news because it has been declared as a conservation reserve area. So this is the first conservation reserve area in the Sindhudurg district of Maharashtra. Overall, it is the 62nd such conservation area of Maharashtra. Next is Mahaparwana. So this is an initiative by Maharashtra government to attract the industrial investment. Next is Industrial Facilitation Act. So recently this act was in use as Karnataka decided to amend this act for facilitation of investment for small, medium and large scale industries. So now Karnataka is the first state to amend this act for small, medium and large industries. So far Gujarat and Rajasthan have amended this but this was amended for only small industries. Now Karnataka decided to amend it for small, medium and for large industries. Next is navigating the new normal. So this is a campaign by Niti Ayo. So this campaign has two components. One is a portal and this web portal intends to increase the public participation to ensure COVID safe behavior. That means how you can be safe from COVID. And the second component of this is a media campaign to make people aware about the safe behaviors such as wearing mask and washing your hands to stay safe from coronavirus. So this is an initiative of Niti Ayo. Next is English Premier League. So this league was in news because Liverpool won it and Liverpool won it for the first time in last 30 years. Next is Defence Conclave of 2020. So this Defence Conclave 2020 Gujarat was recently inaugurated by Sripad Nayak and this conclave was organized by CII that is Confederation of Indian Industry in association with SIDM. What is SIDM? It is Society of Indian Defense Manufacturers. Now we are going to cover some personalities which were in use. So first is Vinnie Mahajan. So recently Vinnie Mahajan was in use as she became the first woman chief secretary of Punjab. So she is the first woman to be on this position. Next is Mary W. Jackson. So she was in news as recently NASA, that is the space agency of USA, decided to rename its building after first African-American female engineer Mary W. Jackson. So Mary W. Jackson is the first African-American female engineer of NASA and NASA decided to rename its building after her. Next is Justice B.P. Katke. So recently Justice B.P. Katke was, was in news as NGT, that is National Green Tribunal, constituted a committee to investigate in the Assam gas leak issue. And this committee is to be headed by Justice Katke. Next is Anjan Day. So recently IRDAI decided to set up a committee and this committee is to be headed by Anjan Day. And this committee is going to suggest insurance products for the drones. What is IRDAI? It is Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India. And last is K. Sanjita Chanu. So she is weightlifter and recently she was in news as she is going to get Arjun award of 2018. Why she is going to get this award now? Because previously 
she was accused of doping now iwf cleared her from doping charges and that's why she is going to get this award now so these were the most important questions of today's quiz now homework so first is what is yukti initiative second homework is what is purchasing power parity and third homework is what is sovereign credit rating that was all thank you